Well, in part one, we actually investigated this particular offense. We, this is something that happens in a hybrid environment, combination of uh, something happening on the cloud, something on prem. We got a good understanding of what is this, this uh, Ronnie Shire guy that did and what he's doing. But now, well, there might be some other stuff. Remember that he was doing some stuff on AWS because he did the Golden Samuel attack. Hmm, what is it that he did? Well, one way of getting to know that, in Curator, there is this free app, the Cloud Visibility app, that gives you all the offenses that have to do with AWS in this particular case. It's also for Azure and Google Cloud and, and even IBM Cloud. So you can, it's, you know, see the the regions related to the rules, the top IDs, top resources, the MITRE, you know, the graph, all that nice looking. Let's actually go ahead and investigate that particular offense. And this is the one that we actually we saw. So now two things is that uh, as you can see, if I select this one, I get this button that says send to AWS security hub. And this can be manual or automatically. You go into the admin tab to this icon of the uh, cloud visibility app and you can automate the process of sending that data so we got some information from AWS on the logs we did some findings do, do we want to send that those findings to AWS from what the guy is seeing in there that might be very useful for the analysts uh, up there but we also what we can also do is that we can say well I know you have detective I need you I know you have guard, uh, guard duty you have some things in there what can you tell me about it so, for example, the IPs are related in here. What is this IP doing? And you click on it, and you actually get to see what the heck is actually happening with this particular IP. And there are some findings here that uh, that that's interesting. That those are probably from guard duty. Uh, they're saying that obviously those uh, instances of uh, uh, or machine those EC EC two instances have been used for mining. RDP force brute attack. Uh, look at that, right? So, okay, that, that's interesting. That's something that I did not know about because that didn't happen on prem. That's happening on the on the cloud, and f for some reason they might have not been logs that came indicating this. These are guard duty findings, but you can actually get those uh, from here. Let's actually go back and see. You know, you can do the same thing with destination IP, with the AWS accounts, with the EC2 instances. For example, it's actually going to this EC2 instance in particular and see what is it that we can find in there. You know, more things related to Bitcoin. So that can be useful information for your actual investigation. So. I would, you would agree with me that at this point you are very well you have completed a very good investigation you kind of know pretty much what's it, it happening here but you need to actually fix it and and for that uh, the, in in curator you can actually manually or automatically you can send that uh, the details of that offense to your SOAR platform. In this particular case, it's the instance of resilience. Again, and, and all these can be on the cloud, on-prem. All these are things that, that works uh, regardless of whether you are hosting there. So let's actually go into our SOAR platform and see what is it that it has seen. So we have that offense 129 in here. Okay, we've seen that one. And let me show you some of the things that have been automatically done. The minute that 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 stuff was, automat was automatically sent to Resilient, uh, it start doing some things that so you don't have to do them as part of the resolution. What are some of those things? Well, we got the logs from the mail server, but we didn't get the actual mail itself. So what this is doing is going into that mail server and, and it's extracting the entire message of it, not just the logs. Extract URLs from the body. Are there any URLs in there involved into? That's probably where the guy actually click in it. Uh, get IP addresses as well. Get the subject, the sender, and the receiver. That's important on the email because that can denote uh, some campaigns and some stuff. And we want to see everybody who was who received these emails. I uh, mean, one click on it. Ha have any other people received the email? Have they click on it? Well, we need to figure that out and in an automatic way because we don't have time to be doing these things manually. 
any attachment on that email we remember that there was a word document in there well let's actually get it out and so if we want to analyze it uh, further and now that those pieces have been extracted from the email let's actually get intelligent information and this this step will actually perform and that's what you see them cross out let's see you know get intelligent data for those URLs which of them are malicious which of them are not this is an interesting one go and ask your proxy for those URLs and see who actually went to those URLs besides the guy that we know that he clicked on it. Mm -hmm. in, in the remediation aspect, what are the things that you need to do? Well, of course, you need to, of all those people that were also copied in this email or that were sent this email to, we need to do stuff with them, like warn them about it, right? Definitely, we want to take that email and any other variation. Let's say everything that had the same subject name on the my, my server. I want to take that out. There's no need to, for anybody else to get harmed by that. Blacklist that URL in my EDR technology. It can be my Carbon Black technology or FireEye, whatever I use. Tell them, well, anything. don't let any user go to this URL. We know it is bad. Now, do you need to reset some of those people's credentials? And definitely, in this case, you have to, particularly those that click on it, and you know that for the ones that went onto the proxy load, they need to have their password reset because you need to assume their credentials are being compromised. Notify everybody involved in here that may have not clicked on it that there's a campaign going on and they've been a target of it, so they are going to be more watchful. That's a good thing to do. Boy, if you got hit by Golden Samuel, you definitely need to do a bunch of Active Directory and ADFS cleanup. You, you may want to eliminate or delete those accesses uh, that Ronnie has on AWS, right? Let's actually go there and see what is it that uh, this implies. Let's click on that. Let me actually edit to see the actions that the integration between Resilient and AWS allows you to do. And I guess that, yeah, I can see them in here. These are the things that I can actually do. So probably I will delete all accesses key for that particular user, right? Let me actually cancel here. Let me actually go back. And probably the last step, and notice that this is not an automatic step. Probably because the guys that manage the proxy logs, they don't want any technology to do anything. They want to do it themselves. Open a ticket and we'll do it. And when they have done it, they will close the ticket and then this action will be automatically closed and the event will be completely resolved. And you can prove to your you know, auditors that you actually had a good due diligence on how to deal with this uh, particular incidents. So I hope that these two short videos, well the first one wasn't that short anyway, but these two videos uh, allows you to see that tango being played out between curator looking at stuff on the on-prem, curator looking at stuff that comes from the cloud and how that those things are well interlocked and will keep on getting as more capabilities are available. Uh, I mean I, I just read today that the, there's the integration now between curator and the WAF uh, the web application firewall interface that uh, AWS has. So I expect to see those things uh, actually being uh, shown here in, in subsequent videos of it.